Hey Libra, what's up boss? What's going on? I miss y'all. I knew y'all knew I was coming back then. It, it's no other way. I am Niabi Shalee. Welcome to my Libra channel. I am a spiritual teacher. I read energetically, intuitively, and spiritually. I also study planetary alignments to help those that are led to my channel understand the energies that we're in. If you are under the age of 18, go ahead and back out because I do use profanity. If you are offended easily, go ahead and click off because I do curse. All right. Now, I would like to thank each and every last person who subscribed. I would like to thank my um, subscriber, Nakia, for donating to the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I also like to thank my subscriber who donated um, the last deck. This deck is beautiful. Love the way it shuffles. This this right here. Mm, 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 mm. All right. This is an energy read. This is to let you know what energies that we're in right now and understand fully um, that you're in the paradigm. Libra is in the paradigm. Literally, um, anyone would like pay to be right here where Libra is. Now, these energies are here and for everybody. But where you are as Empress, you have to be, understand you were born Empress. I know them people try to make you feel common. I know them people put you down. I know them people made you feel away. I know they tried to instill insecurity, tried to instill that you were too different, that you just extra. I know them people tried to do that to you, but that's all right. Now you know you was born on the throne, on the throne, in your power, ruler of beauty, love connected to the goddess Aphrodite. Aphrodite, I'm sorry, Aphrodite. Connected to the goddess of love, the goddess of pleasure. The empress on this card represents a spiritual being in human form. Yeah. Creation, birthing, planting seeds. You was born Libra, the stars were aligned for you to be born on the throne. No matter what anybody tells you. And let me go ahead and relate my chart in which I drew for you all so I can get you to understand what's over here right now. Mars and Venus and Mercury. That's it. Mars, Venus, and Mercury and the sun. Libra is in Virgo right now. Virgo is how to. The paradigm is to show. This the Libra show right now because this is all that's over here. So I brought out the I brought out the Gemini card because Mars is in Gemini. I know them people told you you had to work like a Hebrew slave to get where you got to be in life. I know them people told you you got to work that job 20 years before you can get a watch and and ain't even going to uh, announce your name. They ain't going to call your family. I know them people told you that you got to go to school and owe thousands of dollars in student loans. That's the only way to do it. I know them people told you you had to have a good credit score. I know what people have told you. I understand what has been instilled in you. But this card is masculine and feminine. Masculine is logic. Masculine is working, slaving, uh, you know, doing what ma the masculine is supposed to do in order to get the, you know, the money, to get the, the riches. But masculine is logic. Oh, I need to do this to get that. Oh, I need to do this to get that. No. That's all you need is spirit. God, spirit, source. And the world, the earth has taught, even taught the feminine that we got to do 
what the masculine is doing in order to get. No, Mars, the masculine planet, is in Gemini right now. We'll be there for seven months, up until March. What's that mean? Oh, getting the masculine together, tapping back into the feminine energy, just energy. Feminine is not nail, nails done, hair did, everything did, energy. Feminine is understanding that you have to connect to God's spirit source. And God's spirit source is not at the church. God's spirit source, and, and I don't want to offend anyone, but I know they told you the only way to get to God's spirit source is through church, religion, um, uh, a, a spiritual leader, uh a uh, religious leader. No. What these energies you've been feeling for the last two years is a gradual breaking down of what makes you feel safe on earth. Flat out. It's breaking it all up. It's breaking it all down. No, no, st started with the pandemic. Made people get by themselves. Made people pull back. Made people stay inside made it was not it was nothing you can do it was nothing that then you the only thing you could do is listen to somebody else so you're listening to the cdc and then uh, two years later it's oh we told you the wrong thing see what i'm saying it's about understanding that god spirit source the creator the divine who this planet has stopped us from even paying attention to. I bring out the star card because these are the energies that we're in. This is the Aquarius card. This is expansion. This is this is pouring into the collective. This is the collective consciousness. And pouring into the people that decided to walk away from what everybody else was thinking. So you see how the star is pouring into the collective, downloading the information, and still downloading into those that walked away. This is no longer trying to, you know, understand what other people think. This is no longer trying to understand what other people have told you. This is re this is comfort in your own skin. The nakedness. C the stars in this card is lining up with the seven chakras. Yes, healing the heart. Healing the mind. That's what this is about. Why did I bring this card out for the energy? Because Saturn is in retrograde in Aquarius. What does that mean? Oh, all of these major planets that told you what to do over the last 2,000 years is all in retrograde. Pulling out anything that doesn't serve. Imagine all of these planets pulling back from Venus, Mars, and Mercury, pulling a suction, removal, downloading, Next card I pulled out was Justice, Libra. Why? I know you. I know people told you that you have to look a certain way. I know people told you that you have to be a certain way. I know they told you you had to uh, have a certain status to be in power. I know what they told you. You know what they told you. I know they told you that you can get off if you got the money. I know they told you that, you know, if you was a, uh, a, a police officer, you can shoot people. You can stand on people's necks. I know they told you that if you were a certain color, you were nothing. This is what's being served right now. Justice. If a person is not 
of service can do nothing for the collective, for humanity. Yeah. Why would I say that this? Oh, because, yeah, justice. Talking to Mercury. Pulling back. Yeah. Justice. Beauty. Uh-huh. Love. Humanity. Communication. In Virgo. Where Virgo at? Because you know, Virgo, I'm going to show you where Virgo at. Virgo is right here. Yeah, where Libra and Mercury at and the sun. And yeah, the moon ain't over here yet. I put this because the new moon, it will, will be in Libra. And this is like, happy birthday. Happy birthday, little bit. Yes, this is happy birthday. What you see right here, all these planets that do their thing, they got, they got. We over here communicating. We setting the world back up for how it's supposed to be. You know who you need to do the job, Venus. You know who needs to do the job. Mars, Mercury, Sun. <laughs> yeah. Virgo, energy. Not the Virgo you know that live down the street. Virgo, energy. I know they told you you couldn't get to God's spirit source unless you had somebody laying hands on you. I know they told you you couldn't get to God's spirit source unless you took communion. I know they told you you couldn't get to God's spirit source unless you changed your diet. I know they told you you couldn't get to God's spirit source. Yeah. That's a lie. Because this is the energies that we're in. Virgo is how. Virgo is. Virgo energy is. Hey, look, y'all. I left the light on to show y'all how to get up here. They lying to y'all. God right here. Yeah. Got my back. Right behind me. Come on. Come on up. That's the energies we in. We're in Virgo season. Yeah. Venus is communicating with um, Mercury. This is Libra. Born on the throne. Mars is in Gemini. Yeah. Getting together. Yeah, all right, all that fiery energy, Mars, that you be having, going off, snapping. You know, Mars rules Aries. So, all that energy you got going off, snapping, uh-uh. You gonna sit here for seven months and rethink what you been doing. Because I'm pouring into my collective. It must be expensive. It must. Yeah. So everybody got the, the um, you know, everybody got this energy, but I'm telling you, Libra, so that you can understand to use these energies. Yeah, because I know they lied to you. I know they manipulated you. I know they kept secrets from you. I know they hurt your feelings. I know they, yeah. I know they stole from you. I know all that. But the moon is in Pisces. The most psychic sign, most psychic planet in the cosmos about evolution. As in the wolf evolved into the dog domesticated. You don't have a wolf in the house. You have a dog in the house. And that is the crustacean coming out of the water is you coming out of the collective. Going higher. To be illuminated from the darkness, out with the old, in with the new, ushering in the new, path to better. Yeah. Sleep brings counsel. Pay attention to your dreams. Your lows become your highs with the moon. Getting rid of fears and illusions. Yeah. Brought all these cards out for you. So I can show you the energies that we're in. This is the energy that we're in right now. Pulled the cards out to show you 
This is the energy that we in right now. What you see over here, six damn planets over here, and we there's only nine planets in the solar system. Six, seven, eight, nine, and Libra over here with the luminaries, the sun and the moon. Okay. Next card I pulled out is to understand that we're all connected. And just because we're all connected, you have to understand this is about trusting the energies for your finances, your living situation, your love life, your desires. What is it that you want? Tell God's spirit source to create the divine. Balance your own energy. This is a personal this what the energy that we're in right now is personal. This is the things that you don't tell people about. This is the the things that you sit back with self and deal with them. And this is not about going back to say I messed up right there. No, this is about taking today and going forward. This is not worrying about nothing that if it's not in the brain currently today, it, you don't have to work on it. But anything that's in the mind right now, that's in your spirit right now, that's in your soul right now, you have to eliminate the lower vibrational things so that you can get what this is bringing you. Virgo season. Venus is in Virgo, which is how to. You're in the paradigm of to show. And full moon in Pisces says forgive. Now, I did not read this card because I wanted to do this collectively with you so you can understand what this card means and is saying. I should have marked it, but I didn't. And it's our... Damn. See what I'm saying? Damn. Be careful that you're not coming at your current situation with your mind made up. This card is a reminder that life is unfolding, is an unfolding mystery and you need to go with it. Instead of trying too hard to tick every box for your dreams to come true, fall into your dreams a little, <clears throat> fall into your dreams a little. It could well be that what's blocking your current manifestation is that you haven't forgotten yourself or someone else for something that happened in the past. Shut the front door. <laughs> Um, to boost your manifestation powers, forgive yourself and anyone else who needs forgiveness. Strike a balance between all your duties and what you need to do for inner peace. That is a very, very important thing. Please do not get yourself ruffled in no type of way to do nothing for at least, <laughs> like I want to say for the rest of the year, but the end, we were we are going into eclipse season, so... But yeah, don't do nothing you don't want to do. You don't feel like doing it, just don't do it. Hanging on to anger is unhelpful and can be toxic. Move on and forgive, even if you don't forget. This is the way to brighten your future. Please forgive other people because you have to forgive yourself as well. That is the one thing. is like you forgive people because you have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive yourself for whatever it is. And I know you've never heard that. Or if you heard it, you didn't know how to apply it. Well, I'm telling you now, tell yourself. Insert your name. I forgive you. Example, Niambi Shali, I forgive you. I have said this literally before now for like six months straight because I was holding something in there and that I didn't know. I've been on my spiritual walk now for about three years and, um, but it took me time. It was a process. So I'm saying start now. Do it now. What better place to do it is now. I am not an astrologer. So I don't know when the next time these energies will be like this or these planets will be where they are. I just know what I see now. I just know dream come true type of energy. I just know you can get to have whatever the fuck you want to have right now. Like, and it's right now. It's like from now until October 2nd. And it's not saying it's going to stop October 2nd, but at the way that it's looking and the way that this is set up is if you do the right things now, like forgive now, 
Like stop guilting, shaming, blaming yourself and other people now and get yourself to that pure is heart space. I'm going to suggest something to you. I took white courts as I was starting my process. And, you know, people try to tell you all of these other things that you got to do. You don't have to use quartz if you don't want to. You don't have to use white quartz if you don't. You don't have to use crystals. But whatever modalities you use and that um, help you reach or get a spiritual practice, I use white quartz. I'm, I had a necklace. I actually wrapped this. I wrapped this one myself and I wore it around my neck and I actually asked. I said, purify my heart, please. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was saying. But when I tell you I start to feel my heart open up, I literally started to feel my heart. That same feeling you have when you are in love and you see your person where your heart skip a beat, I started to feel that by wearing a clean white quartz around my neck. So, you know, I'm going to pull because I'm going to use double deck. I don't know if I told you all, this is a double deck. This is double major arcana, double uh, aces. Okay, that. Oh, I feel a wave in my shuffle. It do something to me, okay? Okay. All right. And actually, I'm going to move these things out the way. I'll save this one for last because I pulled two. And... Come on, double deck. All right. Like I said, this is a personal time. Whatever you need to work on is personal. You don't need to tell anybody. You don't need to talk it over with anybody but your therapist, your accountability coach, maybe your mentor, but somebody that's going to give you positive any anyone you tell this to which I, I i say keep it quiet i say deal with it yourself i say there's no reason to tell anybody but if you do want to express to someone um what it is that you're working on and what what you're trying to read make sure that it's someone who is going to give a good word there's no time for and if you're dealing with decisions about self make make the decision very quickly this is a thought space this is making the, if you there th this is the thing why would i have to make a decision when i'm the only one sitting here you're at this time you're the only one that should be in the seat um i'm i'm not talking about People having children and stuff like that. You know that's a given. You must take care of the children. If you have a husband, you must take care of the husband. Um, things like that. But um, there should be... Always choose yourself. And I say that in this energy read. Choose yourself. Oh. All right. Thank you, Double Deck. Uh, yeah, old oh, me dead and gone. This whole little vibe. The star is is getting to self separating from. Yeah, it's separating from. And what's that? Yeah, separating from the collective and going off to self. I just, I literally said, oh, me dead and gone in the moon card. Ah! Confirmation. Confirmation. Yes. So, work on your relationship with spirit. Whatever it is that you have to do. Today, I, um, I, instead of burning sage, I burn rosemary. 
And let me see if I could find some. Yeah. This smells amazing. This smells amazing. I'm a, I'm a, I want to say sniffer, but not really. Uh, not, I don't sniff humans, but um, I say that because my, yeah, okay. Anyway, um, okay, so this smells really, really good. And I got the fresh kind because I have the dried kind and, but yeah, I, I sniff, I, I burned rosemary, um, as in an honor to, um, to the herbs that I use when I work my magic. But yeah, this is getting a balance of self. This is like, and then for it to come out again, it's like, be ready for your twin flame once you work on yourself. Because God's spirit source can't bring you someone who is unequal to you. So you have to, and I say it like this because I have a um, a client that I work with. And we were di we were talking about their, um, their situation. And I was saying... They asked about Twin Flame. And the one thing nobody wants to say about Twin Flame, or I don't hear much of, is you have to work on yourself so much that you draw in someone who is your Twin Flame. Is that the reason why it didn't work out with other people is because you guys weren't vibrating. You both still needed to work on something. And, and it doesn't mean you have to be perfect, but when you vibrate... In a in a good space, you there there's no way you can't get your twin flame. Like it's it's set up like that for you to get your person when you have worked on self. All right, and then I'm gonna consult baby boss deck because you already know I can't do nothing without talking to him. Um, he get attitude. And I'm going to pull one personal. Oh, look at that energy. Now, that's cancer energy, but you know. You already know. That's Pisces. That's water energy. Water energy is cutting up right now. So, use that water energy. Use that moon energy. Whew. You are safe. So, now that makes me want to read that card. Okay, before I cuss out, baby, bottle stack. Let me read this card because it's 36. Because I haven't touched this book. Y'all already know. I love spending time with y'all. Informing y'all and uh, whatever. Because I had to get there. And I wish I had somebody, even a tarot reader, that would tell me the things. And like I had to go. I got the information that I tell y'all from like 10 different places. So I'm just trying to put it all in one space. We all deserve to be and feel safe. Remember when I said, like, God Spirit Source was doing all of the stuff, you know, in the world in order to break up, you know, our safe places? But it was for a, a greater cause, is what I wanted to say. What I want to say and reiterate now, it's for a greater cause. It's to save humanity. It's to save the earth, even. <sighs> we all deserve to be and feel safe. It is common for us to get caught up in the situations that are difficult to get ourselves out of. Forgive yourself. Oh, wow. If you've ever gone against better judgment, don't let your past circumstances make you feel guarded and unable to be vulnerable forever. Like, I want to stop because I'm like, didn't I just say this? Like, I promise you, I never opened a book. You could tell. I had to bend this page back. Like I never opened this book. I just, when I literally, okay, you saw me. Like, this is literally what I just said. Oh my goodness. You deserve a fresh start. You deserve to be able to put your protective shield down. One of my favorite things to do for protection is to burn some sage and visualize myself being completely protected by the giant gold bubble. I then ask for protection from the Archangel Michael oh, and imagine whoever I need whenever, imagine whoever whenever I need protection. Oh, no, no. That's it. I'm saying it wrong. Whoever I need protection from, leaving me alone. I also love to burn sage around my home or that person's space and cleaning their energy and visualizing them going away. <sighs> 
be what you need to do what you need to do in order to feel safe, even if it means taking drastic action, better safe than sorry. Let me tell y'all something. When I tell you I did this in order to protect myself, I asked I ask God to make sure nobody comes to me Nobody enters my life. I ask for divine connections. Wow. Ooh. Okay. And I literally say, like, this is so crazy. I, 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 once I learned about, you know, Libra being empress and the tarot deck and the cards and all of that, and I, my mantra is, I am protected. Wow, I love this. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, it, it don't pull nothing. It doesn't, I'm going to leave this here. It doesn't pull anything out of me, but it's like, it's, it's challenging for me in the regard of having people understand this thing that you probably never heard before. So when I do a sigh, it's a sigh of relief. All right, baby boss dad, come on. I'm going to give you one. Okay, I'm going to give you one real shuffle. Oh, all right. Y'all know I got to talk to this. He spoiled and you already know that. So, come on, baby boss deck. <laughs> I swear. And I usually don't pick nothing up, but I'm going to do so. Because... It was too geek to get out. <gasps> Ace of Cups. Yes, yes, yes. You know I told you. Remember I told you. Your heart belongs to God, spirit, source, the divine, the creator. And anytime your heart is feeling a way about anything, whether it's about money, earth energy, whether it's about um, <clears throat> whether it's about it's, it's your thoughts, whether it's about uh, your emotions, whether it's about anger, anytime your heart is feeling away, God, spirit, source, divine, creator is going to come in and take care of it, whatever it is. So surrender. Whew. Surrender, baby. Surrender. And this is the time right now. This was the other card that came out. This is the time right now to dream bigger and be very, very clear about what it is that you want. Because when I tell you I am a walking testimony to tell you that I have everything that I wanted once I surrender, I gave it up. I said to God, Spirit, Source, look, I don't know what to do anymore. You got to take care of it. And once I did that, once I, I feel my throat chakra, thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew, thank you, Divine. Divine is so amazing. Like, I love it. I want another one. Like, because that was just two. Let me get one more. Um, Baby boss deck, let me get one more. What you want, Libra, to know? Yeah. That's what that whole thing was for the last two years. That's what the whole thing was for the last two years. That was a tower moment. Break it all down. Tear it all up so we can rebuild. Know that that's the space that we in. So you need to be in the rebuilding energy. Rebuild yourself. If it ain't nothing but rebuilding your heart and saying, look, we've been hurt. It hurt, but it's over. It is over now. One more thing about that. One more baby boss deck. What does Libra need to know? That's all you want to give me? Okay. That, um... That clarified that. Old me dead and gone. But standing. But on the horse. Got rid of the old, bringing in the new, walking about. Yes, 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 yes. 
Confirmation, that's triple confirmation, and I swear, I bullshit you not, that is the reason why I kept pulling. That's the reason why I kept pulling. I love y'all. I get up here because I love y'all. Know that. Tap into your feminine energy. Tap into your intuition. Stop thinking so logically and understand you have a, a partner, a maker in the divine, in creation. You can have whatever it is you want to have on this earth. You got to clean it up. Clean up the mind, clean up the heart, work on the mind, work on the heart. Anytime you have a fucked up thought, reverse it. That's something I had to work on. That's something that I had to do. Reverse it. All right. I will be back. If you would like to donate to the channel, please do so. I will link this. I will link um where you can do that in the description. I want to thank those that have already donated. I love y'all, and I'll be back.